Hi, I'm Lorraine. I'm Sophia. I'm from Not Quite Nigello, and I'm a bit of a straggler. I'm a freelance journalist, <laughs> a freelance food writer. <laughs> She's from Straggler Magazine. No, I'm kidding. It's a good name, though. <laughs> Mm, Stragglers. We could, we could, we could call ourselves the Stragglers. The Stragglers. No, no, no. Anyway, we're in Yumea on Duck Island, yeah, which is in New Caledonia, and we found some amazing snacks um, at the supermarket, and we thought we'd try them out. We found, I mean, I don't know whether you've got twisties where you're from, but we have chicken and cheese twisties in Australia. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Uh, but we found pizza twisties, Mexican twisties. Double cheese, extra fromage XXL, but none of that really matters because we also found bacon twisties. Ta da! That has a, that needs a twinkle, like ding 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 ding. Okay, so we're going to try these, and we haven't tried them before, but we're going to just tell you what you think of what we think of them. Where we'll tell you what you think of them too. <laughs> you will like them, <laughs> um, and because we're food writers, but we. We like kind of, we don't take ourselves too seriously, I think. No, and you know, it's a food writer, it, you're allowed to like twisties, you're allowed to have McDonald's at 2am, it's, you know, we're human after all. And twisties are my favourite chips too. I used to, I, was, I think I'm more team um, cheesels. Yeah, because you can get cheesel fingers, yes. but no, twisties, because I like choosing different sizes. That's weird. Is it? Maybe, or maybe I'm weird because I like the consistency of the ring. Yeah. Are you a control freak? Yes. Okay. Anyway, we'll talk about that later. Twisty? Pizza twisty? Pizza first. I don't know if you can see them in here. They smell like tomato. Yeah, they smell like tomato cup of soup. <laughs> they do smell like cup of soup. Yeah, yeah. Imagine, is that you? <laughs> oh, I missed, I missed the first one. They're sweet, like ketchup. Sweet. They taste like they're tomato. They're, too, they're tomato. Yeah, but like you know, ketchup's really sweeter mm. than tomato. Fake sweet, fake tomato. They taste slightly stale to me. <laughs> yeah, they do. And also, <laughs> this weather is not really conducive to um, crunchy snacks. That's true. It's like 28 degrees. I'm trying to look at the ingredients. They're in French. Don't read them. Tomato. Tomato. Maize, Milk. oil, palm oil. Oops, that's no good. It's twisties. <laughs> All right. We were. We shouldn't expect better. What's? That says gout. As far I as I'm know. concerned. No, exhausters de gout. That. That doesn't sound good. Mm. Uh, they're okay. They're okay. I'd go cheese I, over pizza. I think still. I think we should save the bacon to last. Mm -hmm. Should we go XXL? Yeah. Extra cheese. Extra cheese. Now, we accidentally um, broke these. I think someone actually sat on them in the was car that, and they popped. Was that someone called Sophia? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Are they? That's what they look like. They're a different colour. Yeah, so much more orange, I guess. They, they're much scarier. <laughs> not scarier looking? Scarier looking. I have to say that none of the twisties are extremely large. I say this because, yeah. you are know... Are they bigger at home? They are bigger at home. Maybe, maybe there's... This is a bad way to open it because we can't close it back up again. Just have to eat them all. They don't look organic. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're not. These are real stale. They're all stale. Ah, oh, best before 30th of December 2017. I think that should say 2016. These are stale. Do you like them? No, I thought I, I really thought I'd love the double oh, cheese. Look. That's a tadpole. Twisty. I can keep this up all day. No. <laughs> well, no okay, that was not. a disappointment. Double cheese. I had such great hope. Mexican. Because we all love Mexican food. Oh, and a Muji dress. <laughs> is that Mexican or is that Spanish? I don't know. I don't know. I think it could be either. Oh, no. It could be either. This is what they look like. Would you like one? Kind of half food, don't I? Ooh. It smells like a taco. <laughs> yeah, it smells like Mexican taco seasoning. Yeah, that's exactly what Like it cumin. Like. Definitely smell the cumin in that. I don't mind that. That's good. Probably the best out of the three. It's got that umami chicken salt. Yeah. Like I don't really, MSG. It, it like, makes like all the saliva is just yeah, rushing yeah, to yeah. the front of my mouth. 
Yeah, as whereas the other ones didn't really have that. I want more of these. Yeah, yeah. It's that thing that some good snack foods have. And they're still a little bit stale. I still want them. And they're best before 18th of February next year. Oh, maybe. Maybe it's just a. Maybe the they're, other ones they're are stale. Off. Yeah. Well, they're two months. Like they've got two extra months on the yeah, other ones. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So the last one we're going to try are uh, the bacon ones because bacon makes everything better. Mm -hmm. I'm just opening these all. Yeah. No. That's what we're here for. Fake bacon. Oh, bacon. Bacon. It's like liquid slime. Do you know what? They've got like very slight bits of pink in them. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, Probably that's not. the real bacon. <laughs> oh, it's smoky. That's all I'm getting smokiness so. though. Which is, I guess, there's like a hint of campfire in there. You know when you go camping and you get you get that smell that yeah. just seeps into your clothes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They should be called campfire twisties. Campfire twisties. They're not bad though. And they're less stale because they're <laughs> um, the expired in um, May next year. So we got a bit of extra time. So, do you prefer? Definitely prefer these. Mexico? Yeah. They've got that thing that just makes them really Moorish. I'm not quite mm. sure what it is. It's Gosh. probably some chemical ingredient. Absolutely. But I think it's kind of this, in the same way that umami makes you want to have more or something. Definitely. And do you know what's funny is this actually, even though they're Mexican, these remind me of the barbecue pizza shapes that I used to love. Yes, exactly. It's what, in my lunchbox. In those, I don't know what it is. Do you think it's a number or do you think it's a... I think it's a number. Probably. That's sad news, but... That's a good day. But why would they use the numbers in the other things? I'm not sure. But you know we've got um, Monster Munch. <gasps> I forgot about the Monster Munch. I mean, I completely forgot him. I found, we found these and I was having a look at the back of the pack. Um, I think it's a German brand, but there's also Japanese and Arabic. So I would call these an international snack. What is it? What's it called? Lorenz. Lorenz. But down here, the Lorenz Balhin Balsam snack world? <laughs> it's in Germany. Something in Co. Geez. Yeah. Germany it is. Okay. Wants to munch? Yeah, let's try it. Snack world. When is it expired? Let's just check. Expiry date? Next year. Yes. Not stale. <laughs> do they look like they do on the packet? Like that's a test. Look at the packet and look. It's actually accurate. And Amazingly. also, accurate. these have been specifically designed to be tongue shaped. Let it melt on your tongue. I reckon we can. Not a phone packer. Oh, this is not. I mean, these are tomato and ketchup burger. Mmm, I like these. They're really light. You're not they so do sure. taste like ketchup. <laughs> They're also... What are they meant to be? Monsters. Monsters. Or ghosts? They're a little bit cake okay to me. <laughs> look, at, look at them. They're awful. Cut it. Cut, <laughs> Cut it out. Aren't you Jewish? <laughs> I, I am Jewish, that's why I can say these things. Okay. I like them. Do you like them? Mm. Ah. Take a K chips. Ke yeah, ketchup. One of the cases is ketchup. Um, I think they'd go very well with a beer. Yeah. Very well with a beer. Oh, actually, we've got something that we found at the supermarket, which could be gross. Lychee. Mm. Do we have that with us? We do. Ship. I was hoping she'd forget. up. Sorry, I don't forget about food. And by glasses, <laughs> I'm pretty sure she meant Christmas cups. Mm. We deliberately got Christmas cups because it's Christmas. All right. This is warm, so if it's good. Le uh, Café de Paris, Blanc de Fruit. Fruit. Fruit? Okay, sorry. White fruit wine. Lychee flavoured because they grow a lot of lychees here in New mm -hmm. Caledonia. In fact, in fact, they told us that a typical house has a lemon tree, a lychee tree, mango, and a mango tree, mango tree. which would be actually really lovely. So we're going to open this up. So we've we've some we've had mixed reviews on this. So yeah. one person we've met really likes it, and the other one related Looked it to upon us with horror. She's like. And we think it's like the Nemean French passion pop. 
but we'll, we'll find out soon. We will find What's out. What's the equivalent of Passion Pop in like, the US doesn't have Passion Pop, surely. <sighs> like a sweet, like what you get drunk on when you're yeah. in, uh, in high school. I think you can't drink anymore because you Because you don't you want the taste of, up. but you also don't want the taste of alcohol. You just want to taste like sweet water. Because it'll just, um, it I should know. just go. Now you have to twist it. Nah, you're right, it's coming. <laughs> Why am I so scared? I don't know. Don't aim at me. <laughs> it wasn't <laughs> aiming. I have my hand on the thing. <laughs> she doesn't trust me. <laughs> That's plenty. Let's just, let's just. <laughs> I can smell it already though. It smells like light cheese. It smells like, um, it no, smells light. like it needs ice. <laughs> it smells like it should be cold. Um, you know lychee lollies or tinned lychees? Well, I if reckon lychee lollies. It's very sickly. Or you know how you get those lychee jellies that kind of, you know, come in a little thing and you pop them in your mouth? No. <laughs> it's because you're not Asian. Maybe that's um, it. <laughs> so, um, Chin chin. Chin chin. You're right. I didn't move. I'm I'm getting I'm getting plastic, but I don't know if it's the cup or the booze. It's okay. Um it smells and tastes exactly like a hangover. <laughs> what does that mean? You know, it just um you're not like, loving it? Uh, do you know what? I reckon I could have a glass, like the same way you'd have a rose, the same time that you might feel like a rosé. Yes. And really nice. It's also warm, so a really nice cold one of these, I think, it would. It would, would be, be nice. so much nicer cold, I think. Like, yeah. It's feel warm, like but we because. Didn't have that. Um, oh, it's in English. A refined blend of French sparkling white wine with the subtle, or not so subtle, not fresh and authentic taste of fruit. What is an authentic taste of fruit? Well, because yeah. it's... Mm. Is there a percentage lychee in here? Nope. No, it's just flavour. Nope. <laughs> yeah, don't ask. <laughs> don't ask. Um, it's, not, it's not the worst. But no, I, I couldn't drink it all night. But it is like, it's not very strong. Like, it just tastes quite sweet. It's like, if you like dessert wines for your main wine, because I know people that drink dessert wines as their main wine, um, if you like extremely sweet wine, this is it. It could actually work with a few cheeses you know you have like the, s or, the sweetness okay instead of like having foie gras. the pate yeah well, you know like you oh, know yeah. you always have sauterne and pate. like sweet mm. wines with foie gras i feel like i feel like people would make fun of you though if you serve that i'm like i'm a little bit would embarrassed be... i feel like there's going to be someone on the other end being like i cannot believe you girls are talking about this this is what teenagers drink da, da, da. but Whatever. you know what we live for new experiences yeah and maybe um, you should too yeah maybe you shouldn't judge people mm. I just want to, I'm pouring myself some more, so. Yeah, I don't so mind I'm, it. Look, I don't mind it. Boy, it. It's like boiled lychee lollies. Exactly. In liquid. Exactly. It's like, a little bit warm in a Christmas cup, so you know, yes. all the more festive. But if you have a wine snob friend, they will not like this. Do they not show this to your wine snob friends. Or you could. And just... Or give it to them as a birthday present. <laughs> with a dead straight face. And like, we thought... When I saw this, I thought of you. Or maybe it's really, give them like a really nice foie gras and this, and they'll think that you know something that they don't. <laughs> yeah, do that. The French are doing it. So, you know, if you just say the French are doing it, I'm sure with a certain percentage of people, like Francophiles, they would love. It has the word Paris on it. So it's chic. Café de Paris as well. Doesn't that mean café? Like, it's not a café. Or coffee. Café. Café de Paris. I don't know. Maybe there's another meaning. Also, that looks like a bum. <coughs> that looks like a bum. That is a bum right there it's on a, a wine label. It's a bum. I've, maybe it's a secret. Secret in, bum? No, no, as in like everybody knows it's the bum. It is a bum wine. Bum de Paris. A bum de Paris. But we haven't, we've got more. So, what have we got? But wait. Oh no, are we doing this one? I know that's delicious, but yeah, I don't think well, that that's too. exciting. I think, but just in just in case, just in case, anything salted caramel, French on pancakes, or ice cream, always just just yes. And that's at the supermarket, so or just toast. Just yeah, and toast. it's in a tube, so you can just. Ah. This is fun. This? Shall we try this? Yeah, coconut jam. 
Okay. Do you want to open it? Why? Because it's hard. No. Because <laughs> so, I like I thought you might want to do it. Okay. You want me to do it? Okay. It looks like coconut oil. Actually. It does when it's really really cold. Yeah. But it's not cold here at all. It smells like desiccated coconut. Oh. Do you want to show them the yeah, texture? Yeah, it's, it's um, got the texture of pawpaw ointment. <laughs> <laughs> or Vaseline. <laughs> That's really wet Vaseline. Yeah. Does it taste like Vaseline? It's nice. Is I it like deserty? It. it looks deserty. It looks like something you put in it, like an Aski Chang or like an Asian dessert or something. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. In fact, I like that best out of the stuff. We've I reckon that would actually be really nice with caramel. On toast? Croissant? Brioche. All of the above. Yeah. That's nice. Um, I think that would be really nice on a sponge cake. Just like baking instead of jam in the middle as well. I see that having so many applications. Mm, like on a fork in my mouth or a little <laughs> bit more. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Just one person in bed, spoon. Totally. Fine. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Was there anything else? 20% coconuts, also. So 80% sugar? Yeah, pretty much. Glucose. Uh-huh. Um, jus, jus de citron. Concentra so concentrate. Concentrated citron lemon juice. juice. Lemon, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hmm, not bad. I like it. Hmm. Was there anything else that we had to try, or is that it? No, so I think that, I think though, so we, I think this is, favorites would be Mexican twisties. Coconut jam, not together. Mm. Look, no. You know we have to try it together. Oh. <laughs> you know we do, because you said not together. Uh. <laughs> not together. <laughs> not together. <laughs> yeah, right. Here, wash it down with some um, passion fruit. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Worse. That was the weirdest worse. meal. Worse. Worse, worse, worse. That was a weird meal. I'm just gonna wash it down with some more twisty. But I hope you liked our look at Twisties, New Caledonia style, and other snacks, and we'll try and bring you more videos soon.